We'll start construction by building a style. We'll draw a rectangle on the floor that is three by three quarters of an inch and we will extrude that up 18 inches. Zoom in to see the whole thing. We can scroll up on this area here. I want to access kind of the components window. The first time you get the components window this is what you'll see. You'll want to click on the down arrow for, on navigate, click on the components option and it will show the my components folder that you created earlier. Double click on that it'll show all of the components that you've stored in your components folder for future use. Um, we will select the part that we want to use this molding shape style and I'll drag it over here and I will attach it at that point there. We can close this. Now I can take my select tool, right click on this and we'll explode this. Once it's exploded it has segmented that surface into three separate surfaces. I can now use push, pull, or follow me, either one to extrude that out. I'll use the follow me because it's a little easier. Click on this line to give it the direction and the length to follow. Click on the follow me tool and then click that surface and it's done. I can now click on this line here for follow me of the other one. Click follow me and it's done. We now have a style complete. We will group that make group and we'll go into entity information label that a dash style and assign that to layer a I now want to take the move tool and I'm going to move that along the red axis hit the control key to make a copy of it and type in a distance of 12 I now want to right mouse button excuse me get the select key right mouse button select flip along and select the red axis it is flip that object around so that the moldings face each other we have our styles complete